Now you in the mix, bro, you know, and as I was kind of doing a little bit of research on you, you know, you caught a body, right. uh, gang related homicide right. uh, or it was a manslaughter. Uh, I took a deal for manslaughter and okay. I always say we're not here to uh, glorify that. That's right. That's right. Uh, you know, just just documenting your journey. Right. That's right. all it is. Not listening to moms, man. It was one of them days where, you know, I didn't take my ass to school. Mm -hmm. Mom's telling me, let's go to school. I'm like, mom, I'm, I, I, get to, I get a ride to school. And then one thing led to another, and it was unfortunately unfortunate that it had to, you know, happen that way. Yeah. And just doing my whole time incarcerated, all I thought about was that. Let me ask you something, uh, Rock. Um, and and my apologies if I'm overstepping, but what if you can say what were the circumstances like that that led to that the incident? Um. Basically, like a self defense. Okay. It was I was probably what I think at the time I was seventeen, mm -hmm. and the guy he had to been like thirty five. Oh damn! And he it was just one of them. It was one of them moments where, um, it was either me or him. Yeah. And just so happy. Did it stem from some gang, or was it just a beef? Or no, nah, I wouldn't even say it was a beef. It was just one of them days that he just. I never seen this guy. Well, I seen him before, but I yeah. never had it. You didn't know him. I didn't yeah. know him. I guess he was fresh <laughs> out of prison. Remember that mm -hmm. song Dr. Dre said? Yep. It was one of them I'm type of things. I'm bigger than you. What right. you going to do? Yeah. Dude came walking by and asked me where I was from. It was me and a couple other guys. Mm -hmm. And when he said where I was from, I told him where I was from. And he, and he reached. And when he reached, it all went down. Did he, did he have a gun on him? Yeah, he had a gun on him. Damn. So... Okay, so you saying that, I mean, seem, were you railroaded? Because it seemed like that was a clear cut case if he had a gun on him and he's fresh and he's out of prison. And he's on PCP too. And he's on PCP. Why yeah. they, why they. Well, at that time, it wasn't like they didn't care back then. Mm -hmm. They was throwing us away. Mm -hmm. you, That's right. You get locked up, you fight your way up out of here. My grandmother happened to have some money. She mm -hmm. got a lawyer. And uh, I fought the case for like two years. Mm -hmm. So they tried to, they wanted to give me 50 to life. And they wanted to give me 50 to life. The lawyer got it to 21 years with 80%. I said, I'm not taking 21. They came with 16. I said, no, nah, I'm not taking 16. They came with 13. I told my mother, I said, you think I should take this 13 years? She said, son, you know what you could do? And when she said that, I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and get this out the way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I told them, uh, I take eight years. Right now, if y'all offered it to me, they said, nah, you're going to take this 11. To, they want to <clears> give you 11 with 80. Either take that or we going to trial. I took the 11 with 80. I probably could have beat the case. I was about to say, bro. But, you know, at that time, yeah. me, I was in there with uh, with the guy from Southside that was in the car with uh, uh, Orlando Anderson when he okay. got shot. Yeah. So when I was in the holding tank with the guy, I said, man, would you take uh, would you take this time? Mm -hmm. He said, shit, I wish they could offer me that. I said, you would do that? He said, yeah. I said, well, if you could do it, I could do it. Yeah. Went there and took my little 11 with 80. Went on about my, about my life. Man, that's fucked up. Because yeah. the the truth of that is, for one, they should have, that was clear cut what it was, right? Right. But even still, because they know people don't have the resources to, right. to adequately fight them. Because if you had the resources to get a lawyer, you would have beat that. Bro. No, I had a lawyer. Oh, but I had a lawyer, but it seemed like the lawyer. It, I don't know. It was gang related. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I mean, I, but you're still a juvenile at the time. I caught the case at 17 years. Nah, old. but even I mean, gang related, but he still initiated it though. It was right. a threat, regardless of why he initiated. They don't, they don't, they back don't then, care. probably now you have yeah. more action. Yeah. But back then, it was so much. Yeah. Criminal activity with the gangs, wow. so many murders and stuff back yeah. then. And, it was like y'all guilty anyway. Damn, you see what I'm saying? So Man, I didn't. Crazy. I just didn't want to play with it because I seen too many people getting life. No, that's right. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and knock. I'm what well, I'm young at the time. Yeah. Nineteen when I took the deal. I'm like, I still get out of my thirties. All right, cool. Let's run it. No, I got yeah. out at twenty seven. Yeah. Twenty seven years old. So when you knew you had to go do that time, I mean, what you know, what was that? What what was going through your head that you know that damn, I, okay? Because you hadn't been to prison prior to that, no, right? Yeah, no, no. Um, at this time, I, I was in the county jail when mm -hmm. I took the deal. I went from juvenile hall, no YA, none of that, straight to the county jail. In the county jail, 
Some of the homies from Watts took me up under the wings, homie from Grape Street. So I was already adapted to being around, you know, these grown men. I'm still young at the time, mm -hmm. right? When I get to prison, some of the dudes I was in juvenile hall with, dude named Sharky, Lil Sharky from PJ Watts, he was in there. Mm -hmm. I started seeing all my partners from juvenile hall. It yeah. was like, it's on, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, it was like, it's, we gotta do this time. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Get the body here. Yeah. So the first thing I did was started finding myself in a whole lot of fights. Mm -hmm. Here we go again from the childhood. You don't want to sing like the, yep. you know, the Buster. Yep. And if you said something wrong to me, I was swinging. Mm -hmm. And then I found out like that's you get killed up in here. You know what I'm saying? You get stabbed up, and you can't go do something to somebody and hide. So one of my homies, another homie from Watts, he was like, Rock, you can't keep doing that, bro, because you're going to have us all in the crash. You can't keep on fighting these dudes. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Especially if you right, you right. But if you wrong, you wrong. Right. But, you know, going to the pen, it was like, I still didn't take it serious. I didn't mm -hmm. take it serious to the second time going to jail. Mm -hmm. The oh, first so time, it was it was just, it wasn't sick, working out every yeah. day. Yeah. You know. Let me let me ask you, what, what kind of effect, because, I mean, when you do time, your people that love you do time with you you know, so to speak. Right. So what kind of effect did that have on your family? And I don't know if you had kids at that point. No, I didn't but, have no kids. Okay. I blocked all that out. But your mom, okay. I blocked out moms, I blocked out brothers. I, the streets, Yeah. I totally blocked it out. This is my new home, Right. let's adapt to this. Uh, my grandfather, he he was one of the ones that was coming to visit me. Moms visited me one time at a time that she came to visit me. Mm -hmm. I had gotten to a race ride and I was in a hole. Yeah. She like, son, what are you doing? I came all over the, you know, you still up in here. Mm -hmm. So let, let me, you know what? It's an interesting thing. Um, like I'm born and raised in Kansas City, right? Missouri. Mm -hmm. But I've been out here a while. I used to come out here in the 90s. It's a funny dynamic with LA and prison. And, and let me know if I'm off base with this. Oh, yeah. It's kind of this thing that I see where in the LA streets, unless you actually walk the yard, or you've been in the county, or you've been in jail, it's almost like they don't respect your gangster. They don't, you know, it's almost like your shit is in question. If right. we're gonna go into that world, you right. know, not to glorify it, but right. it's almost like that's a prerequisite to really being official. Is that right. fair to say? Some people think like that. Yeah. It's like if you ain't been to the pen, you ain't laid nothing down, you right. ain't real. But actually, the smart guy is the one that get away. That's what I thought. You see what I'm saying? That's what I thought, yeah. bro. I thought that I thought the the plan was to get away with it. Right. Not to you know? want to get caught. See, right. I'm the dummy. I'm not, right. I'm, I'm the dummy. I mean, that kind of was a situation that was unpreventable, yeah. but I'm yeah. just saying if we I thought I, okay, I'm just trying to, but you know. It could have been preventable if I would have listened to my mother. Yes. And went to school like she told me that morning. That part. So kids, when your mother tell you to do that part. something, listen to your mother, that listen part. to your parents, listen yeah. to your they got your best yeah. interests at heart. And the reason that I, I I ask that is just because as you say to the younger people, you know, and I just see it again, me being from somewhere else, the culture is a little bit different. And I was like, damn out here, boy, they, they proud about walking them yards. And if you ain't been on the yard, they feel like we right. don't know who you is. You we don't know what you're about. Guys that's telling the youth this. Yeah. A lot of older guys, if the youngsters really pay attention today, mm -hmm. see back then we was, manipulated mm -hmm. we didn't we want to fit in so bad mm -hmm. today if the youngsters pay attention to the older guys that's telling them look at their kids mm -hmm. they not telling their kids to go shoot nobody that's right they not telling their kids to go rob nobody they telling the homies i gotta take my son to football practice that's right i gotta take my daughter to chair lead yep. you see what i'm saying yeah but then you would come and tell a homie hey you ain't putting no work in yeah well you ain't telling your kid to put no work in but yeah. you sitting up here telling this this somebody's child. That's right. So That's right. today you really don't have to really get involved mm -hmm. as much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You got guys like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take responsibility because some of the stuff I put on social media, mm -hmm. if a youngster was looking at it, they'll think that's cool. Mm -hmm. My baby mother sent me a, a video two days ago with, one of, with my son rapping one of my rap songs that I recorded. Mm -hmm. And she laughing at the fact that he's rapping the song that me and my little brother made, but I'm like, damn. Like, mm -hmm. he know this stuff word for word. So every now and then, we have to go on social media and take accountability and put <clears throat> the positive message That's out right. there. Because yeah. when they hear it, he's 13 now. Mm -hmm. 
when he hears, he like, whoa, dad said this, but he's saying this also. Mm-hmm. And it's my job to say, son, don't pay attention to this. Right. Half of the stuff that we do on social media is entertainment. Entertainment, yeah. The stuff right here, the khaki yeah. suit, chucks on, this is just my childhood wear, but it's the costume right now. Right, right. When we go to job, we ain't wearing this. Right. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing the yeah. glasses, you know, just, yeah. it, it just look cool. No, I you know understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you Compton Rick Rock right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm, in, I'm in care. Yeah.